Today, my friend, I'm going to tell you a story about a woman that you know, Martha Custis. Now you know her by another name, and I'm going to tell you her other name in a moment. But let me tell you a little bit about her story. She was a pioneer woman in this country, and her husband died. She had two very young children. She had no way to support her children, and back in those days, in pioneer days, this was a tragedy for a young widow. How would she make it? Well, she decided she would make it with God. She prayed for a miracle. She prayed for God to touch her life, that she could have a life, and her young kids could have a life. Now, let me tell you her story. Her first husband was a man by the name of Daniel Park Custis. He had died, and young Martha Custis was left to raise her two surviving children alone. But years later, she remarried, just two years later, this time to a man by the name of, are you ready for this? George Washington. And she later became America's first first lady. Despite the tragedies in her life, Martha remained an overly optimistic person. She was a person that believed in God, and she gave her whole life to God. She said, we carry the seeds of happiness with us wherever we go, and she was right. The next time that you're feeling blue, remember that wherever you go, God is with you. And therefore, on that foundation, you can carry the seeds of happiness with you. And the potential to be happy is within yourself. And you also have that potential to share that happiness with others. Now here's a man that knew a bit of financial tragedy in his life, going bankrupt many times. His name, Walt Disney. He said, happiness is a matter of your own doing. You can be happy or you can be unhappy. It's just according to the way that you look at things. In Matthew, in our Bible, 5 verse 8, it says, They are blessed whose thoughts are pure, for they will see God. Realizing that the potential is up to you, that you already are a child of God, that you have God's blessings, but you also have to work with God and be willing to go the extra mile in attitude, emotions, and in heart. The first step is to turn your thoughts and your heart toward God, and God will lift your heart with a joy that stays with you. Then, take those seeds of happiness and plant them everywhere around you. Have a great day.